What's up, a cinema showgun here, and would you look at that? Look at what the cat dragged in. Finally, after all of this time, Amber Heard has been spotted for the first time since the Johnny Depp trial. And guess where she was spotted? I'll give you a second. Correct. She was spotted getting off a private plane. Now, I'm sure some of you all are like, why is this news? Who cares that Amber Turd was on a private plane? Well, it just so happens that Amber owes a certain somebody almost $10 million, claims that she's broke, her lawyer's out here on a campaign, like a pity party campaign, to make the world think that Amber can't pay up, yet here she is, jet-setting around the world in a private plane. How out of touch with reality, how out of touch with society, how out of touch with just the conversation surrounding this trial and surrounding your life right now, do you have to be to do something as idiotic as this? You know what this shows me? It shows me that she doesn't care. She has showed, there's no accountability here. This woman knows that she owes Johnny Depp all of this money. She knows that her and her team are running these fake news stories about her being broke. Yet here she is, showing up for the first time, getting off a private plane. She could not leave the glamorous lifestyle alone for just a moment while she pretended to be broke. And you know what? As I've been sitting on it for a while, I got kind of frustrated that Johnny Depp, or at least there's some conversation going on right now about Johnny Depp not making Amber Turd pay up. And don't get me wrong, I never thought it was about the money. I've made that clear. And I don't hold anything against Johnny Depp for this. But this right here, this blatant disregard for the law, the blatant disregard for accountability. You know, you're just showing up, getting off of a private jet when you know you owe this man money and you're sitting here running this fake news stories with your PR team about you being broke. It's like a smack in the face. Like, hey, yeah, here I am. And you're still not getting your money. I'm going to ride my private planes. I'm going to spend $80,000 a month on wine. I'm going to live in my million dollar mansions. I'm going to rent out a house for $22,000 a month. But guess what, Johnny? You're not going to see a single red cent. Now, when Johnny had to pay her money, she got it, right? Am I right? Didn't she get a car? Didn't she get a lot of things? But of course, Amber Turd is going to win once again. Because these type of women, they always win. There was never going to be a real loss for her. And I think that sucks. You know, I, what difference does it make to me if Amber pays up or not? I guess it doesn't really make a big difference in my life overall, of course. But I think it makes a difference in how we view this situation as a whole, as a society. The Johnny Depp story, the reason I connected to it so deeply, it wasn't just because I like Johnny as an actor. It was because of what it meant for our society, that men can be viewed as victims too, that some of these horrible women that are out there, there's tons of horrible women out there. There's a lot of awesome women out there as well. But a lot of these crazy, psychotic women who have been out there allowed to wreak <laughs> havoc on our lives for so long, finally one of them has been held accountable. And now, kind of looks like she's not going to be held accountable at all. If this deal goes through, or if Johnny doesn't make her pay this money, it's like she just got away with the whole thing. Hollywood's going to keep hiring her. I know everyone wants to say, oh yeah, of course, no one's going to hire her again. Hollywood is who got behind her to do this whole thing in the first place. If Hollywood stops hiring her, it makes Hollywood look like they were liars and bad people in the first place because they're the ones that backed her throughout all of this. The Me Too movement, it's not about you at home. 
It was never about you at home. It was about this narrative pushed by these psychos in Hollywood and in our government. It's not about the average person. The Me Too movement was specifically designed to take down a lot of these rich, powerful people, some of which were complete monsters. Harvey Weinstein, he definitely needed to get taken down. I'm not sitting here saying that every part of the Me Too movement was fake, but a lot of what was going on with the Me Too movement, a lot of what's going on behind the scenes, it's shady as... It's shady. It's really shady. I'm trying not to cuss in my videos. So when I see Amber getting off of this private plane, looking so smug, and she's just still living her lavish life, it's like... Someone owing you money, let's say someone, your friend hits you up. It's like, man, you know, I, I'm really down this, this month. I lost my job. I need to get back on my feet. Can you help me with rent? Can you give me a couple hundred dollars for rent? And you're like, oh, damn, you know, gas is a lot of money. I don't really got it like that. I don't got enough money to be lending you this money. But because you're a friend, here's a couple of hundred dollars. And then later that night, while you're driving to go get a four for four from Wendy's because you can't afford anything else to eat, you see that same friend coming out of the strip club. That's what this is like to me. Like you owe someone money, you know you owe someone money, but you're out here spending money while not, not having the intentions of paying the person you owe. Like you, like I owe you 20 bucks you show up to the gas station and I'm spending 20 bucks all while I've been ignoring your phone call the whole time. Like, come on, that's just shady activity. You know, that's just basic, basic things that you learn in life. You know what I mean? Like where I come from <laughs> and the type of life um, that I come from, you don't do things like this. When you owe someone, you pay up. And when you don't pay up, sometimes things happen to you. I mean, that's the reality of life. So Amber is just, I guess, reckless with it. She'll at the same time as her PR team, at the same time as her lawyer is on USA Today, like, oh, Amber's broke. Poor Amber, you know, she's just devastated. This whole situation is wreaked havoc on her finances. And then Amber pulls up in a private jet outside. It's like she doesn't even care that she's not going along with her own lie. And it's like we're back where we started. And once again, this just shows the type of person she is. She's putting these lies out there once again in the media while the facts tell us a whole different story. The photos tell us a different story. Your lawyer is on the news telling everyone you're broke. The mainstream media is telling everyone you're broke. You can't afford to pay Johnny. But when we see you, you're getting off a private jet. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. And I wish that Johnny would follow this all the way up. I know it's not about the money, but because of how she's acted afterwards, it's like, follow it all the way up, Johnny. I know that that's not, Johnny's a good hearted person. It's not in his spirit. But sometimes you have to put your foot on these people's neck in order to make them understand. And that's what's happening here. If you let this woman wiggle away, it's not going to end up good. She's not going to learn her lesson. And a couple of months from now, there'll be a new Washington Ed post about how bad of a person you are. And a couple of years from now, people will re rediscover this story and they'll cancel Johnny all over again. They'll go back and look at the details and realize, oh, Amber never paid up. Johnny never made Amber pay up. There was a deal worked out. Oh, I guess, you know, Johnny was afraid of this. Blah, blah. They're already trying to spin it now. They're already trying to do that spin. So I just, I don't know. I really wish Johnny would follow this all the way up because it appears to me that this woman has learned nothing. And in fact, she's right back at it. Right back at spreading lies while doing the exact opposite. It's like, oh man. Oh God, this, the, just the... Uh, the audacity of this woman, and she does not care. That's how crazy she is. Her PR team will put out a news story about her being broken, and she'll pull up in a private jet and look at you like you're stupid. Like there's something wrong with you.
Man, people these days are crazy. But I want to know your thoughts about this down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell. If you liked anything I said here today, drop a super thanks down below. And I'll talk to you in the next video.